Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Salam Khan's YouTube channel. And today, with the next classification of signals, okay? So, you know, you would be thinking this classification is getting longer. But maybe this is the last. Periodic and aperiodic signals. So, this I wrote to, you know, save me a little time. It could save me about three minutes, you know. So, periodic signal. A signal is said to be periodic if it repeats itself after a regular interval of time. And this is something you know from the very beginning. Of. You, you, you may know it from class 9th or 10th, okay? So this, let it go. For now, okay, for now. So, periodic signal. So the definition says that it will repeat itself after a regular interval of time. Which means if this a x of t is a value at any particular instant and you check after some time that is x of t plus a capital T naught let's say. So this will have the same value as x of t. Well, I wrote a plus over here. It could also be a minus over here x of t plus minus t naught if equals x of t that means it has repeated now what is the thing you have some time t naught okay you take a particular value you go either the left direction or the right direction in the time t naught you have the same value the function will repeat from there this is periodic set now not only one t naught it is true for two t naught it is true for three t naught 4t naught, 5t naught and so on. So the general definition is x of t would equal x of t plus minus n times t naught. Is that fine? Well, when we see examples, it would be more clear. So what is uh, x of t is the original signal? Uh, uh, t naught. So we have two, two, two new terms is t naught and n. So t naught is what? It is the fundamental period. which is over here okay fundamental period the definition is over here the definition states what that the smallest positive value of time for which the signal is positive for this which the signal is periodic so which means this t naught is the smallest value i told you it's true for 2t naught it's true for 3t naught for 4t naught so which means that this is the smallest value of them fine now this n this is an integer value one two three four and so on so this n is an integer is that okay now let me tell you show you an example so let's say considering the sine wave okay so let's say considering the sine wave this is t this is sine of omega t. All right. So if this is the sine wave, so you know this is zero, this is pi, this would be two pi. Similarly, over here to the left side, negative pi, negative two pi. And let me write. So, what you have in this case is have a look. The signal value at 0 is 0. The signal value at pi is 0. So, we could say that the period of, uh, of, of sine is 0, of sine is pi, right? The period of sine is pi and how did i say this that the sign of zero is zero sign of pi is zero is that okay no 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 it's not okay because the value is zero but the wave film is not the same it is not repeating i told you that the value would be zero and it means that the function it would be assumed that the function has regenerated from that point so have a look 
if this is 0 have a look so if you consider the left side of 0 so we have negative values but if you consider the, the left side of pi you have positive values similarly for right side if you consider right side of 0 you have positive values for the right side of pi you have negative values so which means that the period of sign is not pi the period of sign is not pi so what is the period of sign it is 2 pi the period of a sine wave is 2 pi and now have a look the value is 0 at 0 the value is 0 at 2 pi to the left of 0 we have negative values to the left of 2 pi we have negative values to the right of 0 we have positive values to the right of 2 pi we have 0 we have positive values and have a look we can say that after 2 pi the wave has been regenerated or at the left of 0, the wave has been generated as the start of 2 pi. Have a look. So from 0 to the left of 0, you will consider the left of 2 pi. So have a look. The same wave is repeating over here. And to the right of 2 pi, you will consider the right of 0. So have a look. The same wave is repeating over here. Isn't it so? So which means that the period of sine is 2 pi. It's in that pi. Is that fine? And the period of sine is 2 pi that I said. This is the fundamental period of 2 pi. So let me add the word fundamental to it. This would be P naught. Okay. P naught is equal to 2 pi for the sine wave. Now have a look. After, you know, this is 3 pi, this is 4 pi. After 4 pi, this function will also repeat, which means this 4 pi is also the period of the sine wave. After 6 pi, this value will also repeat, which means that 6 pi is also the value of, uh, also the period of this wave. But it is not the fundamental period because fundamental period is the smallest value in all of the periods. So I will write over here is that 4 pi, 6 pi, 8 pi, etc. are all periods of sine wave. But not the fundamental we have only one fundamental period okay and that fundamental period is t naught is equal to 2 pi i hope it's fine now the fundamental frequency so you know uh, the divided fundamental frequency so the frequency is what it's 1 over the the time period so for the fundamental frequency it will be 1 over the fundamental time period and this would be the case for it is that okay the unit you know the unit for, for time is of course second in this case radians uh, 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 and the unit for fundamental frequency it would be what it's the same that is cycles per second or it would be hertz So I, I forgot to mention over here to the sine wave so I can write it as sine of omega t plus minus 2 pi multiply n. So n 2 pi. Fine? n 2 pi. So this is the fundamental frequency. Similarly, you can have the fundamental angular frequency. So I would also write it over here is the fundamental angular frequency and we know that omega is 2 pi f so over here omega is omega naught so 2 pi f would be 2 pi f naught which would be equal to 2 pi upon t naught and I hope this is clear and you know the the, the unit is of course the radians per second all right now the next point is 
that this is equally true, this definition for periodic and non-periodic. Well, what is a non-periodic signal? So a signal that is not periodic, which means it is not repeating itself after some particular time, is not a periodic signal. It's called a non-periodic signal. It's also called as an aperiodic signal. Now, the same definitions are equally true for, for what? For the discrete time signals. This I told in terms of T, which means this I told in terms of the continuous time signals. So, so I will write that these are equally true for discrete time signals. That is, I can write that x of n is equal to x of n plus minus m times capital N. Now again, this capital N is the fundamental period, this m is an integer value. Is that okay? Huh. And similarly, you will have the fundamental frequency and the fundamental angular frequency. And let's say, let's say I write the fundamental frequency F naught as one over n. And in this case, I believe it's in capital letter. Yes, yes, it is in the capital letter F. So this would now denote the angular frequency. Sorry, the fundamental frequency. Fine. So now I would remove uh, some part of the board, or oh, let's say all of it, okay. Now the next uh, point is here on, on the shifting of a signal, okay. So if a signal starts at some finite value, if a signal starts, at some finite value and you shift it either to the left direction or to the right direction so then what will happen is that it will not remain the same right it will not remain the same so this part I'm not writing okay you write it for yourself that if a signal starts at any finite value and you shift it either left or right the shifted waveform will not be the same as the original signal. Should I repeat? If a signal starts at a finite value and you shift it either left or right, the shifted waveform will not be the same as the original signal. And how is this? So I will now show it to you guys. So, so let's say considering the same sinusoidal wave and I believe I put black ink in this blue marker so now this would be causing the problem. So this is a sine wave, right? This is a sine wave. Now, let's say I shift this sine wave. Shift it to the right. So, so let's say some value. So we didn't be this. Well, the amplitude would remain the same. I draw the amplitude smaller. Let's say I make it equal. So the waveform is the same, but you know the starting and the ending points are not the same. So now I cannot say that this particular sine wave is periodic. Because let's say if this value is 5, okay, and it is repeating after 5. So I have shifted it now, it starts at 5. So which means that uh, this signal is not periodic. So to attain periodicity, the, to, so, so what should we do? To attain periodicity, so I would write this point. To attain periodicity the signal must do what it must start at negative infinity and never end so this is the condition for periodicity that to attain periodicity the signal must start at negative infinity and it will it must never end so now coming into this so let's say this was your time or i would draw it again okay let's say this let it be so if this is your sine wave we had it originally like this so so what happens is 
that a signal must start at negative infinity and it should never end which means it should be like this for periodic signal it would be like there so we only are considering it through one fundamental time period okay the original signal the original sine wave it's like this it continues in this direction it continues in this direction is that fine now have a look now if you if you shift the wave if you shift the wave so it would be again the same wave so i would write over here let's say so if now this wave has been shifted over here so if this was starting at negative infinity and was to supposed to end nowhere so now this function would be like this again something like this you know i didn't know it properly but but it would be like this so i connected it over here also fine so so which means that now the definition of periodicity is complete that it will repeat itself after some regular interval of time and what will happen is that it will extend throughout the time axis from negative infinity to positive infinity all right okay now if i say another point okay let's say another condition of periodicity so first i will write it over here if you take any segment of a periodic signal and regenerate it on both sides you will get the same periodic signal is that okay on uh, regeneration on both sides along the t axis right so this is the example this is the example you know again let's say considering the sine wave so let's say this segment i've taken so 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 let's say i remove this part of it fine so, so let's say I've taken what? I've taken one segment of the sine wave, which is this one. Fine. And now if I regenerate it on both sides along the time axis, so I will get the same periodic signal again. So let's say I generate it like this, from here to here, and similarly from here to here. So what is this? Again, this is a sine wave. So similarly, this will continue to the left side. This will continue to the right side. It will never end on the left. It will never end on the right. And we have a periodic signal. Is that okay? Now, uh, an important quantity is the DC. Is the DC function. So is the DC value periodic or is it aperiodic? So you tell me, huh? Do you know a DC value is periodic or aperiodic? So you tell me. Let's say this is any DC value with amplitude A. So will this be periodic or not periodic? So let me tell you that a DC value is periodic. DC value is periodic. And how did I say it? So it is repeating itself after any point, after any interval of time. You can take the time period to be 1 second, you can take it to be 2 seconds, 3 seconds, 4 seconds. Similarly over here. So which means that this value is repeating itself after each and every value of time. So which means that I can say is that the fundamental period is undefined 
because I cannot say or the fundamental period or any general period is also undefined because I cannot say that this function is repeating after this particular time well I know it is repeating at each and every value of time but but this t naught or this t is any proper value of time for which it is repeating and which is not present over here as it is repeating throughout the axis so now if this t naught is uh, undefined t naught can be anything or it is un so, so it means it's undefined so what about the frequency the frequency would be zero the frequency would be zero as you know f is equal to uh, 1 over t naught from there also t naught is undefined so f would be zero all right so and also you can see that we don't have any cycles so frequency basically is what frequency is the number of cycles per second and over here over here we don't have any cycles so as over here the cycles are zero so we have the frequency equal to zero and i believe that's all about it okay so i went into a little detail so the definition of fundamental work period works except if x of t is a constant in this case the fundamental period is undefined since, since x of t is periodic for any choice of t so there is no smallest positive value this is what the book says right and that's all about it so that's all about periodic and aperiodic signals that's all about this in the book i will have a little detail in it in the next videos inshallah so see you there very soon till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you goodbye